Hi everyone, welcome to Appliance Advisors. I'm Francesco, joined by Dennis. Today we're gonna to talk about Thermidor wall ovens and a really popular common wall oven that people gravitate towards. And there's a lot of models there and a lot of options. So we wanna to try to kind of clear up that 101 and what all those options are there for you. So first off, let's talk about just the look, the aesthetics of it. So Thermidor comes in a few different looks. So let's kind of start there. Yeah, so really we're talking about Masterpiece and Pro. Mm -hmm. Those are the two, two really sweets for them. Um, Masterpiece is definitely a more transitional, clean, thinner handle that kind of just kind of blends in. It doesn't make a statement one way or the other, so it can kind of just take on the look of the kitchen. And then you have a classic, in this category, Pro handle, mm -hmm. which is a, a chunkier kind of tubular handle um, that is super popular as well. And that is certainly more towards transitional, traditional, kind of more, uh, you know, statement looking kitchens that want, want, want the appliances to be a bit more of a focal point. Yeah, that pro look with the knobs, the bulkier handle, and then kind of within that masterpiece in the pro, now they also have deluxe and standard. Mm. So kind of they offer the same options kind of within the series, but they have a deluxe and then they have a standard. So really, they're gonna look the same again. If you get a Pro Deluxe, a Masterpiece, you know, they're gonna stay kind of similar looks there, but what changes is the features within them. In the Deluxe, you're gonna get some better upgraded features, things like the rotisserie, which you don't get really in a lot of wall oven brands out there. So you're gonna have the option for a rotisserie. You'll have a better temperature probe. The standard will still give you one, but the Deluxe will give you kind of a multi-point for a more accurate temperature for what you're cooking. Also with Thermidor, kind of one of the things that they're known for is kind of the, the strength and the power of that broiler. And you're gonna get that max broil, the max wattage in the deluxe version. In addition, you'll get some better Wi-Fi capabilities, some better cycles and, or better um, oven options and things like that. And really you're an average about a $1,500 difference between the deluxe and the standard, depending on if you're looking at double oven, single oven, that can definitely vary, of course. Um, but just some of the feature differences. So when you see kind of that deluxe or standard, that's kind of the differences. And then kind of within all of them, whether you're looking at deluxe, standard, masterpiece, pro, let's kind of talk about some of the, the commonalities there. So the controls, let's talk about just the controls on the wall ovens. Yeah, so I mean, you have a, var you have a variation in the masterpiece, you're gonna have digital mm -hmm. controls, push button controls, if you will, um, set behind a classic yeah. display. And then in the pro, you have an option of, um, you could have a push button control mm -hmm. similar to the masterpiece, or you could have a knob. Yep. Uh, and, and it's honestly split there. A lot of people do still like having a knob. It's digitally accurate, okay? So, you know, the pr precision in the oven is, is still there, but it, it, just having a knob for some people is a little yeah. less, it's more, more intuitive. Yeah, get um, used to it. Correct, yeah. correct. Now I will say, if I'm being fair, if there's a critique, it's, it's their displays are, dated. Yeah. They, well, I don't know that they're dated. They're very small and hard to read. So I will say a trend has been in these categories uh, across the board is a little bit bigger displays. Yeah. TFT displays that are really crystallized and beautiful and easy to see from across a room because floor plans are open and you have a lot of islands. And when you're entertaining, it's nice from across the room to be able to gaze over and see either the temperature mm -hmm. or the time left on the oven. Yeah. You definitely cannot do that on the thermometer. Yeah. You need to get right up to it. It's kind of hard to see that display. They need to fix that. Um, they're aware of that. Uh, thermometer takes a long time to innovate yeah. and cha make these changes. They're kind of a longer cycle. Their product works well, but it takes a longer time mm -hmm. to get those changes. So that's a much needed if we're being honest. Yeah, for sure. You know, you you see in a lot of the other brands is that kind of full color, touch screen, guided cooking. You don't really get that in the Thermidor. The other part I would say definitely you could see an upgrades needed is really in their convection system where you have a lot of people really, a lot of brands, the standard is really that dual convection. Um, you know, you have some that use the blowers, they're further back, they have more space, they just circulate the heat better. Thermidor still kind of has that singular, single convection fan in their ovens. Mm. So a little bit more basic. They have, um, you know, they'll get convection and double oven in both, but it's that kind of one single fan there, so. Yeah. And I will say, you know, absolutely, they should probably have dual convection by this point. And, um, but at the same time too, you did touch on a broiler earlier. Yeah. And you talked about strength of broiler, particularly in the deluxe model, how you get a, a stronger broiler. And some people may at home may be saying, well, I don't broil all mm -hmm. that often, but if you use convection or convection roast, you know, a convection roast intermittently is using three heat sources mm -hmm. conceptually, the, the heat source from the bottom baking element, yeah. 
at that single convection fan that they have is another heating element for yeah. true, what we call European or true convection. And then at the top, that broiler having more pass a stronger broiling system, they use that in a convection roast intermittently. They're varying all those different heat sources at one time. So really, you know, that is a positive for them having yeah. a, a better broiler or a more powerful Absolutely. broiler, maybe a consideration to consider the deluxe model if you did. Absolutely. Yeah. And then kind of, you know, sticking with wall ovens, but other parts that they offer is that kind of steam oven and the speed oven. And they do it a little bit. Uh, you can get those pieces individually or you can get them in combo units. So mm -hmm. You can get a combination steam oven with a single oven underneath a speed oven, which is a microwave oven combination with a single regular oven underneath as well. Super popular for Thermo, and they do a great job really with both of those segments. Their steam oven is going to be one of the biggest ones that's really out in the markets, their XXL steam oven. So where a lot of times you see them and they're kind of a little bit shorter, theirs will definitely be a little bit taller, not quite the size of a, a traditional oven, but definitely closer than what a lot of the competition is. Um, and then really, in, in, in one thing I know too in their steam oven, so they do um, all their steam ovens has the tank for the water. So you don't have to worry, worry about plumbing it, no water line needed. It's all a manual fill. Pros and cons certainly to, to both, whether it's manual or plumb, but Thermador only offers manual. And then their speed oven combination, again, one of the more popular ones out there. Do a really good job with that speed oven. Can use it just like an everyday oven. It has a, a, a broil, it has the bake, it's got a convection fan or you can just use it like a, just a microwave as well. So really kind of a popular combination for them too. Yeah, I will say, you know, those speed ovens and some people kind of, again, you touched on it, but they mm -hmm. still kind of exactly what is that. That's perfect for that kitchen that does can't fit a microwave yeah. or says I microwave not all that often. Um, and I don't need a second oven every day, but when I do, I, a microwave with convection or a microwave oven just isn't cutting what, mm -hmm. I, what I needed for on those peak times when I use it. Um, so a speed oven is great for that. I, I would say uh, that sometimes can be a little bit clunky if you're a go-to microwave. You know, families are generally wired that way. They're either huge microwave yeah. people or they're not. We, we see more people getting, a, not getting away from microwaves, but it used to be a really, they wanted a microwave and yeah. asked a lot of Use questions. It now it's kind of like, I should have yeah. one, but I'm not focused yeah. on it. And then as well, you touched on those combi ovens or the ability to have it just as a single unit, these speed and steams, or have it to be one combined unit, mm -hmm. what we call a combi unit, and it's it's a single wall oven with that speed oven all in one integrated unit. Mm -hmm. And and as Yale, we used to we used to hate those. I mean, yeah. I, I wouldn't allow them on the floors because yeah. I was always concerned about if if what if what if the speed oven went on the fritz. Well, it's all tied into one control yeah. panel. Or oh, the control panel goes on the fritz. Yeah. Now your speed oven and an oven. You've just lost two appliances mm -hmm. in theory, right? But I'll tell you, as that technology for all brands has continued to, to become more mainstream in just what they do, we don't see a higher failure rate. And now I would tell you, all unified one piece speed ovens with wall ovens below, unified yeah. is, is the most popular where we sell. Yeah of all brands yeah absolutely when someone's going to do yeah. that application so of all those options and styles aesthetics anyone that uh, you would gravitate towards i mean I'd, I'd go to the i would go to the deluxe i do like uh the pro handle i like pro handles of yeah. most brands um i think the masterpiece is just kind of it's okay yeah and i think if that was really the look you're looking at if i'm being honest I think there's probably a lot of other brands to consider there as yeah. well. Not to say Thermador is bad, but would, would have a strong contention. I think in their pro, the look, feel, some of the features, yeah. you know, still there for sure. I'm more traditional as well. I would definitely lean towards the pro with the knobs and the, and the pro style handle. I like the steam oven. I think I like steam in general, so I'd probably lean towards that. One thing I did forget to mention before, too, when we were talking about the ovens is, in their ovens, not the steam or the speed, but in the regular wall ovens, they also offer side swing doors. Yeah, that's so a great you can application. get it left hinge, you can get it right hinge. So if you're building it under counter or really just anywhere, the side swing opens all the way, just a lot easier to access anything heavy or anything in general inside the oven. So not a lot of brands offer that. So that's kind of a, a cool feature with them. Yeah, you, well. you get that a lot when you're in a tight spot, mm -hmm. to your point with an island, yeah. or maybe just sometimes your kitchen's wedge out that it's just really tight where you are. Sometimes just clearing that door and being able to access really easy is 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 a really nice feature. And as well, we should mention they are Wi-Fi enabled. You know, while while I beat up their displays because they need improvement. Mm -hmm. For sure. Right? We keep this show <laughs> yes. real and honest. It needs improvement. Um, they do have a Wi-Fi enabled. You can work 
most of their products right through an app. I still don't think that's an excuse to not have a great display because really you use your display more often. Most people are not going to only control. It's nice to have the app. Yeah. It shouldn't be in place of a, a, Absolutely. a an old display. Yeah. It should be an extra, not something that you need to use. Correct. Correct. All right. Well, I think that's going to do it for our thermometer and wall ovens. And don't forget to follow us on social media for appliance tips and updates from Yale Appliance. Your feedback is what shapes our series. Like what you saw, give us a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and drop your thoughts in the comments below. We love hearing from you. Stay informed and inspired on all your appliance needs. This is Appliance Advisors signing off.